Throughout high school, I was and still am painfully awkward at times. Not only was I awkward, but I was also extremely anxious. If you pair awkwardness, anxiousness, and high school, you get a mix that leaves you feeling like you're weird, or in other words, you feel as though there's something wrong with you. This is the boy I found myself in, and it's really unfortunate because the narrative I had was completely wrong, and the struggles I was dealing with could have been fixed, some quite easily too. All I needed was a simple perspective change, while other struggles required a bit more effort. My goal with this video is to be the voice for you that I wish I had heard when I was younger, that I needed to help me realize that I was actually normal and that I could fix the aspects of my life I was struggling with just by changing my perspective. Firstly, I just want to establish what normal is or what not being normal is. Normal is a word that we use to describe pretty much any aspect of life, behavior-wise from thoughts to what we look like. Normal really just means the majority of people follow this behavior. It doesn't actually have anything to do with right or wrong or good and bad. A really good example of behavior that is normalized in our society despite being bad for us is the consumption of alcohol. The good news is that alcohol consumption may not be the norm soon, as millennials are said to drink less than the generation before them, and now Gen Zs are drinking even less than millennials. Smoking also used to be the norm, but once people realized that they were puffing on an addictive death stick, the appeal started to decrease. On the opposite side, something that is on the rise is anxiety, as one in three adults will deal with some sort of anxiety disorder. Now this could be for many reasons, as the stigma around mental illness is fading and more people are being diagnosed and treated. So this could be both a good and a bad sign, but things like housing affordability and other stress-inducing issues seem to only be getting worse in certain areas, leading to more anxiety. But like I've said, normal doesn't always mean good. We associate normal with good because we as a species chronically desire fitting in with the tribe. This is why things like peer pressure can be so strong. Of course, fitting in can be hugely beneficial, but it can also be a negative, so keep that in mind. So now that we know what it means to be normal, I'm going to tell you a story about a younger me trying to navigate through high school. Like I said, in high school, I was quite awkward and dealt with a lot of anxiety. I would often keep to myself if I could, tending to be more quiet. As you would expect, I absolutely dreaded any form of public speaking. Whether it was presentations or being called on in class. While the fear of public speaking is very common, I wasn't aware that the amount of anxiety I would face when it came to doing it was actually normal. I had one class where it was very common to be called on at random at any moment. This made it a class I would dread attending. I spent every second in this class while listening to lectures, mentally preparing for the possible answers to the questions just in case I may be called on. At first, this may seem like a good thing, right? It means I'm paying attention. Well, not quite. I would skip ahead of where we were in the lecture to prepare for the possible answers in the future, meaning I wasn't actually following along with the class, which as a result means I wasn't actually hearing what was being said, leading to me struggling in the class. At some point in high school, I made a lot more friends, and meeting these friends would be what led to my huge perspective change, as for the first time I was having candid conversations about things like anxiety and worries we were having in the classroom, which I wasn't previously having with my other friends. These conversations were what led to me realizing that I was a lot more normal than I thought. While being normal isn't the end all be all, it can definitely be reassuring. It's crazy how much a simple perspective change or learning something new can make you feel so much more comfortable. Another thing I learned randomly on some random day of school was about intrusive thoughts. Believe it or not, I somehow made it, I want to say, halfway through high school without knowing what intrusive thoughts were. It was just something that I had never heard anyone talk about. But on this random day, this girl in my class started talking about intrusive thoughts for everyone in the class to hear. An example of an intrusive thought is if you saw a small child walking on a football field and had the thought of kicking them through the goalposts. These thoughts don't say anything about who you are, as we have thousands of thoughts a day, so it's incredibly silly to get hung up over one slightly disturbing but funny thought. Now obviously if these thoughts are persistent and you have an urge to act out these thoughts, you should probably talk to someone, preferably a professional. So I, like everyone else in this world, would occasionally have intrusive thoughts. I used to think that this meant there was something wrong with me. I mean, how could I have these thoughts and still be normal? Though in reality, nothing was wrong with me, especially since I swatted these thoughts away and never even thought about acting upon them. One thought doesn't represent who you are. So now that we know what normal is and evaluate it if we are normal, what happens if we have qualities that make us different and we want to change and improve upon them? Well, the good news is that most, if not all, aspects of our mental well-being can be tweaked. You, like me, may have anxiety, and that's perfectly fine, but you probably want to learn how to deal with it, which is great, and there are loads of ways to improve anxiety. So I'm going to use this opportunity to talk a bit about my experience with anxiety and give you some advice. I'm using anxiety as an example as I have the most experience with anxiety, but this will mostly apply to other mental health conditions too, as they can often be improved in the same ways. But of course, I'll always encourage that you do further research yourself. The story I'm about to tell you is a bit embarrassing, I guess, but looking back, I find it quite funny. Every Every day I used to start my day off pretty much the same. 
I would shower, eat breakfast, and then head to school. During grade 11, I was having a tough time with anxiety, which led to me talking to my school counselor. I was having a lot of stomach problems at the time, which would lead to me going home on some days early. I relayed this all back to my anxiety, which was definitely real and probably played a small part in my stomach problems. But I would learn years later after I graduated what was really causing my major stomach problems. It turns out that I'm lactose intolerant, like really lactose intolerant. I didn't know that you could just randomly develop it. I thought it was something you were born with. The thing is though that I consumed lots of dairy all my life, so this thought had never even crossed my mind. It was only after I got medication for my anxiety and was dealing with less anxiety that I started to question why I still had these stomach issues. Then I realized something. Every day for most of my life, I had made it a habit of starting my day out with a bowl of cereal. This also would end up explaining why the stomach issues began earlier in the day, but silly me thought for the longest time that this was because of the anxiety that school was causing me. I hope that by telling you this story, you'll be able to reflect on your own life and realize that you may have been stressing over something silly like I was and consider different possible answers for why you felt this way. I want to end this video off by saying if you ever have questions, talk to someone in your life. If you don't have people in your life to talk to, give resources like counseling or therapy a try because it's there because it works and nobody, including you and me, is too good for it. Also, just try enjoying life and not stressing so much. Have a little faith that you can figure things out. Trust that you got it and know that I trust that you got it too.